All right, we are back with the Barcelona career mode. So in this episode, we have the first El Clasico of season two, and we're also going to start the Champions League group stage, which we have Roma, Galatasaray, and Porto in our group. So we have Levante first. I think we're going to sim Levante, play Roma, play Real Madrid, and then uh, either play Sevilla or Galatasaray. I think that is, uh, that's loosely the plan. Now we've started the season three games, three wins, seven goals, zero conceded. We've started the season off amazing, but as you can see, so have Real Madrid. We are hoping for a better season in season two, and so far it looks like it's going that way. We just, we just need to keep this up. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like on it. It helps out so much. And also we are so close to 20,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate you hitting that sub button. You guys are killing it to the start of season two, so I appreciate it so much. So let's let's try to keep let's try to keep the hype going. At right, first press conference questioner suggestion: Put Danny Omo on a development plan as a shadow striker in order to improve his shooting and overall attacking stats. Thank me later. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. But he better grow. We're putting him on Shadow Striker, but I better see some growth. And the next one, give Torres number 7 and 17 to the Dinkao, and we've done that. Now that Dembele has gone to Liverpool, Torres will have that number 7. All right, so we, we knew this was going to come up at some point in this series. We just knew it. So in Messi's goodbye message during that uh, press conference, he said, it's not a goodbye. This is a see you later. And yeah, he only signed a two-year contract at PSG. And as you can see, it says contract expiring in 10 months. Now, in season one, I saw this on a lot of players, and then in January, it went away like I think it was glitched that all the players got re-signed so that could happen again and uh Messi would not be on a pre-contract but if he is if we can sign Messi on a pre-contract that is something we're gonna heavily think about let I me mean, think about it if Barcelona is in a better financial spot two years down the road and Messi is still performing at a high level why would he not re-sign with them just to finish his career because the way he left it was like there's so there's so much wrong about it if he signed back and then played one season two seasons more it'd be like an actual like a fairy tale ending to the story basically or he could play at psg then uh then go to straight to the mls that is also something that can definitely happen so i'm curious to see what the majority of you guys think about that but when january comes around we will heavily think about signing messi on a pre-contract if it makes sense i mean he's still 91 rated so messi is still messy all right so first game levante the formation is altered a little bit to uh put mingueza and balde in there also soriano and uh vlahovic and ricky Puj are playing hopefully this will be a win we started off the season perfect and that perfect streak ends and araujo has been injured also pelt got a red card um that could not have been a worse start to this episode all right what is this injury what is this injury ronald araujo is out for five months with a broken tailbone you just you just have to be joking cannot be serious you just can't um well that is probably our best center back out for five months i cannot believe that what a start to this episode okay so that definitely changes things so i guess pk has to come up pk has to come up maybe we'll put soriano there instead if PK plays terrible and then we move Kamara out to the right. That's uh, that's just what has to happen. That that sucks. Five months is a long time. That is going to hurt his growth a lot. That is that is so unfortunate. He's literally our best center back. So five months. What is that? Is that like February? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, February, March ish. Mm, that that might force us to make a center back signing soon. And uh, we do have that influx of cash from the Dembele deal. You guys want to see Delict at Barcelona. Uh, that might force that, to be honest. But as of now, he's got to deal with it. So PK comes in. Soriano will probably come in too. That is rough, though. That is rough. I got to say, we've been very fortunate with injuries. I feel like we haven't had that many. But uh, yeah, that for five months, our best center back, that is a bad one. So it's a good thing we have PK and also a good thing we have Soriano. So Champions League begins. And uh, what did Real Madrid do? Do they win their game? Uh, no, they drew as well, so it kind of works out. Um, Danny almost a little tired, so we're going to start Torres and give Ferran Torres his debut. I think that is the only change that we're going to make. So facing Mourinho uh, is, is Roma with Tammy Abraham up top. It's a decent team. They have Kunde at left back. It's a, it's, a, it's a decent team, though. The last season, we made it all the way to the semifinals. And uh, this season, we feel like a much, much better team. So let's see if we can start the Champions League off with, uh, with a pretty big win against a decent team. That injury is so unfortunate. Definitely makes a delict. Definitely makes it like a more light likely signing and also we kept handballs on a, a lot of some of you guys like there were like three or four comments saying to keep it on so handballs are being kept on for now all right we've had a decent start Ansu is scored in almost every i think he has scored in every single game we've played so can that stay the same against roma we are gonna find out all right, that's a pretty good ball to start Zaniolo is a threat. That's not a great ball, though. All right, they are starting this out on the front foot, but that's a good tackle by Eric Garcia. We are going to need our center backs to really, really step up. Get that to Jordi Alba. 
And Ansu, oh, if that ball was a little bit better, he would have had a, had a pretty good chance. That is up. Okay, that's actually a good throw out. I stand corrected. I wasn't saying that's a bad throw out, but that was actually a good one. All right, Jordi Alba, once again, our fullbacks are uh, finding some very, very decent room, and I'd like to see it. But on Torres, in to Pedri. That was a great chance. Pedri combining with his new Spanish teammate, but that shot should be more on target. Good ball into our new number seven. But on Torres, that's a... Whoa, whoa, what is their defense doing? That was so awkward. That was a horrible, like, bobble from uh, the keeper, and that second pass was even worse. All right, they're kind of having a few slip-ups here. We need to we need to capitalize on this. Give that to Ansu. That ball gets through. Swing that to Dest. Flip it up to Ansu, and Ansu continues his great start to the season. Once again, this man is on the score sheet. He's scored in every single game we've played. Virginio Dest to Ansu, and that is 1-0 to Barcelona. I realize when you when you cross the ball in, my crosses only work if they're like really light little dinks like that. And Ansu is just on fire start the season. 26 minutes, that is, uh, that's 1-0 to Barcelona. Yeah, Dest is having some fun out on this wing into torres into memphis gonna give that right back to torres 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 oh i just can't get the shot away I just can't get the shot away i might actually switch torres and a uh, memphis oh that's a that's a heavy challenge it's not a foul how is that not even an advantage that's awkward it's awkward three seconds gonna grab that yeah i'm gonna swap uh torres and memphis kind of seems like the uh better thing to do uh oh my lord dest showing his strength onsu oh onsu is in only that pass would have got through okay now kunde is playing He's playing left back, which is kind of weird. But he is kind of coming through. Kamara, that's a good block. And Tammy was offside, I think. All right, De Jong steals that. Get that to Memphis, who is now playing at Cam. Ansu into Ferran Torres. First goal for Barcelona. And that is off target. Um, let's, let's just ignore that. It's not like that never happened. Ansu, that gets through to Dest. Did not expect that ball to be there. Torres, better shot. That's a... It looked like a better shot. That was a, another terrible shot. Memphis. Oh, Memphis. He almost got that. We would, we would have been in again. Our defense has not looked uh, that convincing, to be honest. But I should not be one to talk about that because my defense has not looked convincing either. A good ball. It's a very good ball. Oh, the passing is beautiful. That's a block. And that's going to be a handball to, uh, to Pedri. I thought this was on the ground. I didn't realize this was actually up close to his hand um pedity wait 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 am i blind this is a is this handball or is he did he make a challenge no that's apparently a handball okay i think it went off his hand no wait did it no that's off his knee what is this knee ball that is nowhere close to his hand nowhere close i honestly might turn it off because i don't want that happening for me and uh, i don't want it happening for the cpu either Tammy, he's gonna go left. He's gonna go left. He skies it. Everything is right in the universe. Yeah, stuff like that makes me want to turn it off. 100%. Torres into Ansu. Ansu's gonna take a shot. That's gonna be gonna be blocked. The commentator just said Torres has played good. His movement's been good. Just no goal yet. Is that going to change? Into Ferran Torres on his right foot. Right foot. Oh, I just I. Why is he taking it so wide there? I just wanted to get on his right foot in a good position to shoot away from the defender because I feel like it's going to get blocked every single time. All right, we need to get this second right now. We need to put this team to bed. Torres, one turn, and there is the finish. Ferran Torres scores his first goal for Barcelona. That is a that is a much better finish. Also, pretty sure that is uh, Serginho Dest's second assist of this game. It's ball in. Little ball roll and finish. That is that is beautiful. Um, Vlahovic on four. Let's do four to Pi, then put Torres back at uh, Cam, and then let's do let's do Trincao for uh for Dest. Let's do that on the wing. I think it's our first time using Trincao in this entire series. With uh with Dembele being gone, it might open up possibility for him to uh to try and earn some minutes. That that pass right there was terrible. Nico, Nico into Vlahovic. Are you on side? He is on side. This should be just the simplest of finishes, and that is a simple finish for the 22-year-old Vlahovic. Now, we got him for an absolute steal. He's 22, and he's already 81, close to 82. I'm pretty sure we signed him for 30 million-ish. Like, that is that is a steal. And we just continue our great start to the season. I want to even feel in the game, like uh, playing the games. I feel like, it feels like I'm using a different team. We just feel so much better defensively and so much better attacking-wise. I just jinx it. 
Did I just jinx it? No, I did not. Thankfully, did not. I want this clean sheet as well. So, to Jordi Alba. Up to Vlahovic. I wanted that to go to Jordi Alba. That wasn't even close to him. Keep the clean sheet. I would like the clean sheet. That is a cross in. And Pique, I think, did enough. Even though not very convincing. Win the ball back. Pedri. Oh, that's not a win. The ball just goes through him. And the clean sheet is gone. They literally just had the ball for like the last... 15 minutes or last 10 minutes all right 3-1 still gonna be a great win would have liked the clean sheet but obviously we're missing Araujo still conceded one but 3-1 just another great win like we've started the season off so well of course on to with another man of the match performance scoring and then Torres first game goal and assist that is a that's a pretty good debut all right Musa has been sold because uh we made him and Gaze our backup right back so we're not going to use him pretty much so he has been sold that'll be more money to the budget but uh now we have Real Madrid we have Real Madrid and I think I'm going to play Soriano over uh PK and I think that will be the only change in the lineup first versus second both on 10 points this is this is a pretty big game so they're playing Hummels at left back they signed Fabian in the midfield from uh, Napoli but Hummels at left back are you sure about that Mendy at center back are you sure about that like I said there's gonna be a patch soon hopefully that patch fixes uh some of the CPU team selection but this we have just started the season off so great first versus second El Clasico first one of the season away from home this is gonna be a big this would be a big game to uh like a big feeler game for what this season is gonna be for us also 17 year old Soriano starting at center back this is gonna be interesting not sure about uh Hummels at left back though not sure about that at all so last season we beat them in the first matchup and then the second matchup they beat us so it is currently even what can we do this season we are a, we are a complete different team so this is going to be this is going to be something all right they started off with a lot of possession and i don't really like it that's a chance stegen that's a really good come out for that okay handballs are still on i forgot to i don't know if i want them off or on i really don't know but they're on so there is that and okay hummels is playing left back that might be exploited onto 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 scores again this man is on absolute fire he is in the right place at the right time every single time and it is just so beautiful to see cross in it's a very dangerous cross Courtois just can't handle it I don't know if that's a foul but Ansu is there to clean up the mess and that is goal number one for Barcelona six goals in five games to start this season that is the best possible start we can ask for all right they're trying to pressure a little bit and i don't oh that's supposed to go to memphis not danny omo i don't think that pressuring is gonna work all right hazard he's gonna cross it in it's a decent looking cross but that is gonna be well defended all right danny omo, danny omo up to memphis can't even talk on to gives that to jordi alba this is a shot across goal that's gonna be blocked by mendy and courtois actually catches it all right pedri give that to danny omo slow this down a little bit let's try and get the second goal early on Pedri Memphis in to Ansu swing it swing it Jorginho Dest Jorginho Dest oh that should have been number two that was worked so well our spacing is just it is just something beautiful all right we're gonna swing this in Eric Garcia that corner is not at all where I aimed I don't think we're gonna score from a corner at all this season all right Carvajal gets a little burst of pace and that's a decent ball in Ter Stegen does just enough all right this is a spell of possession for real madrid and i don't really like it but all right hummel's playing left back crosses that in that's that's pretty much the cross i would expect from a center back playing left back memphis memphis oh that ball needs to be better onto is away right there oh that's not a good throw out they are so lucky man keepers are so loose with it this year yeah we might be in the lead but we are not finishing this half off that strong Stegen once again catches that and that's gonna be half time I feel like the second is there we just need to find it their defense does not feel like that that strong right, Memphis gives that to Ansu Dest I don't really want to cross this in Memphis swing it to Ansu 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 turns Ansu turns he almost looks like he's held up there Ansu again he's gonna shoot that's gonna be blocked and Militao is gonna get that out that's a great steal by De Jong though yeah, they just have a lot of numbers back right now we're trying to spread them out a little bit Memphis and their defense and they can see that first their defense has been much better and now we need our defense to be much better I don't know what that was I don't know what that pass is either that's they're in and he just he just gave that up okay Ansu I see someone far post Far post, the cross is too close to Courtois. Every single cross is way too close to the keeper. Right, De Jong. 
Danny Omo, Danny Omo, play through to Ansu, Ansu. Ansu Courtois is going to save that. I thought he was offside, to be honest. All right, corner, let's try and get that away from the keeper like that. That actually looked pretty good. Just Garcia, like, why was, he needs to be a little bit ahead of that. Not exactly behind it. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing when in the back, passing the ball. It is, like, what is that? Is that a good challenge? No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna win it, but, like, this is the ultimate CPU. I don't know what they're doing when they're, when they're passing out the back. That's a very good move. Asensio, we go in for the challenge, and Real Madrid are going to equalize. We've not taken our chances to extend the lead, and that's what happens when you do not do that. This is so irritating. All right, I'm gonna do Torres out wide. We're we're going for this. Torres out wide at right wing, and then uh, I think uh, that I think that's it for now. So 20 minutes. Torres is on for Dest. What can we do in the last 20 minutes? Man, I feel the scripting. Like, I I definitely feel it. I'm not going to blame it, but I, I feel something. Corner is going to be swung in. And Jordi Alba, that's a very, very decent clearance. But we need to win this ball back. They are really hard to get the ball off of right now. When that happens, they are very likely to score. I can't even choose who I want. The player switching is not being very kind to me. Taking short into Cruz. That's a good cross in. And Soriano gets that out to Olmo. Now, can we break? Ansu. Ansu, get on it. Oh, why is that pass just right at Mendy's feet? All right, Alba. Memphis, Memphis, Torres, Torres, Torres. Oh, that's a good shot. Courtois is the reason that we have not extended this lead. That's a pretty good shot from Torres. I mean, it's close to Courtois, but he's made some other decent saves. All right, I'm going, I'm going short with this corner to Memphis. We're going to go short. Swing that to Ansu. He's going to try to go for a shot, but he's tackled from behind. All right, we got no time. We need to go forward, and the ref doesn't even give us a chance. That is, that is so infuriating like Real Madrid were not the better team in this game like we had three or four chances we should have put away I mean they had a little bit more possession but 1.4 us expected goals to 0 0.6 for them we, we were the better team we deserve to win this Courtois making four saves is what is what saved them so I mean in the end it's not the worst result losing it would have been much worse but uh so now Villarreal go top whom we beat in the last episode so oh that would have been such a game good game to win all right so we have Sevilla next I think we're gonna actually gonna play Sevilla and then sim the final two of the month because I don't want our La Liga form to dip too much. If we sim this and we somehow lose it. They're down in 14th. Like, they have had a terrible start to the season. One win, two draws, and two losses. That is not good for Sevilla. So, if we win this, we'll go back to being uh, tied with uh, with Real Madrid. That game is so infuriating. All right, we're going with Vlahovic, Ansu, Depay, Dest, Pedri, De Jong, Torres, Garcia, Camara, and then Mingueza playing center back. Let's see if we can get back to winning ways. After drawing that game, I want to win this game very, very badly. That game just hurt my soul. It hurt my soul. I wanted to win that so bad. Like, we felt like a much better team, but uh, just uh, the goalkeepers in the box on one-on-ones, they are very hard to beat. I mean, Sevilla, they've had a bad start, but uh, they are not a bad team by any means. Is that Luke De Jong? Pretty sure that's Luke De Jong who just, uh, just had that attempt against us. He's probably feeling some kind of way about uh, how I treated him, so. Is that Gareth Bale playing for Sevilla? That is, I feel like Luke De Jong's going to score against us. Actually, Oscar's going to score against us. Gareth Bale playing for Sevilla, and then first goal of the game, scored by Sevilla. I mean, I, I can't do much to try and block that. That is, I mean, Stegen can't do much. And also, I can't do that much. Not the start that you want to see. That is Luke De Jong to Stegen. Okay, we are looking shaky in this game. That, that Real Madrid draw definitely hurt us a bit. Hurt our confidence. That's going to be cleared, though. All right, Garcia up to Ansu. Do we have the pace to beat Austinson? I guess not. But that's a bad giveaway. And Vlahovic, we need to slow this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Get that out wide to Dest, who is playing on the, on the left today. That is into Pedri. Can we swing that to Torres? I think we can. Up to Vlahovic. Oh, it's not exactly where I wanted the ball. It's going to go to Ansu, though. Torres. Torres. Get that to Danny Omo. Cannot play it to Danny Omo. All right, Vlahovic, 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 Vlahovic. How do we not score that? That better be a corner. Oh my, what just happened? I thought the keeper got his hand on that at the end, but I think Vlavich just, I was pressing shoot. He just, he just didn't shoot. That should be the equalizer right there. All right, come on. We need to stop messing around. Ansu, is he offside? It's not going to matter because the ball did not even, uh, not even got close to him. Dest, that's a great ball. Maybe not as great as I thought, man. We were right there to get this equalizer. Just the passing like the, we're just like a few inches off on these passes. It's going to be a good ball to Memphis. That's a really good ball. Vlahovic, we need that to be in the back of the net. And that is into the back of the net. What a finish from Vlahovic. That is what you like to see from your backup striker. All right, we're back in this. We are back in this. 
What a very first goal, Sevilla, for their first goal, but we are back. We are back in this. Okay, this might be something at the end of the half. Oh, it is something. Ansu, we're going to try a low-driven shot, and Ansu continues to score in every single played game. Right on halftime, we flip this around, and we're going to go into the second half with a 2-1 lead that is beautiful yeah i should be doing more low driven shots i'm just not used to it it's like bad habits from uh people 21 but that is uh that's 2-1 and that is half time i mean vlavich that's a goal and an assist from the first half it's a pretty good first half i feel like he's gonna be a really really good player for us i feel like we've made some really good signings torres kamara and uh, vlavich i feel like all three of them are gonna be just so good in the series of course i say that as vlavich loses it it's the uh the tie curse all right dest oh ansu is making such a good run that's actually a very good touch from uh from dest up to vlahovic ansu is in again ansu he's just always in he's always making literally the best of runs all right this second half has gone by really quick honestly that's a great block by deong but not like that many chances see if we can liven it up oh we're just so close that's a that is okay what is happening with the passing what is happening can we can we calm this down a little bit this is gareth bale depai makes a good challenge but we're not going to keep that in we're going to make some changes though you're going to do pk for kamara and i am going to do demir at cam that uh, is what we're going to do let's be the first two changes so once again we fail to extend our lead and we leave the door open for the opposing team in recent history, that has not worked out that well for us. I mean, as it would for any other, any team really doing that. So, we need to win this back and we need to, we need to extend this lead. It's so hard defending these passes. It's so annoying. So annoying. But, uh, Demir, you have fresh legs. I want to see some pace. That is some decent pace. I'm sorry, but what is that pass? I'm not going to blame Demir. That's the game. Can we... Can we just secure the win here? Ansu, do your thing. Do your thing. That's a ball through the middle. They are just unable to do anything. Ansu, it's the post. It's the post. Deong, swing it. Swing it. Oh, it's going to be... that going to be offside? No, it's not. Demir? Demir? Oh, it's a, a shot. And they're going to get it out. Just just one-on-ones in this game. It's, the confidence level is just... It is... We are down bad. Can we get it there? Can we get it there? Vlahovic, are you on side? You are onside. Vlahovic, he is so slow. Ansu, how have we not got the third? I thought Vlahovic was on offside. He was so slow there. And uh, Torres is going to block that. It's going to be a goal kick. How have we not extended this lead? We're going to put Torres up top. And then I'm going to do Ricky Puj on the right and then put Pedri at, uh, at right mid. I don't know how we've not extended this lead. I literally do not know how. We just need to control the ball. Like, I would like to extend it. But at this point, we just need to hold on to this ball and... Just relax a little bit. Relax. Now we can go forward. Ansu. Passing. The passing. Oh, just get that to Ansu. And that move is going to be beautiful. But that should be it. And that is going to be it. Once again, it's very inconsistent. Finishing, inconsistent defending. But uh, that's a very good win to get after losing to Real Madrid. I feel, I feel much better now. All right. So two more games to Sim. Espanyol against Barcelona. Um, I think I just might start Pique instead of uh, Soriano. And then we'll Sim this. Please be a win. Please be a win. Please be a win. It's gonna be it's gonna be another one-one draw. How are we drawing these games? That is okay, at least at least Real Madrid draws two or drew two. That is that is annoying though. It's very annoying. All right, Champions League against the Galatasaray Balde. Mengeza come in. Soriano comes in. Also, Ricky Puj comes in. Can we please get a win to end the episode? Please, please, please. That is another 2-2 draw. Why are we drawing these games? Memphis scores and also Deong scores. Why are we just... We've. I feel like we've drawn every sim game so far. Yeah, we drew Galatasaray, we drew Espanyol, we drew Levante. The three games we simmed in this episode all draws. That is That is infuriating, but it happens, it happens. So ending this episode, um, damn, 1 through 5 all on 15. And uh, the champions in 6th on 14 let it go Madrid. So everyone's had a pretty good start to the season. I think last season was a lot less competitive between especially Real Madrid. So I think this season it's going to be a lot more competitive. Competitive. I feel like every team has improved. And then uh, Champions League, we are in second place. Porto have had the had the good start. We play them in the next episode, so that's gonna be a big game as well. As you can see, our manager rating is 93. We've we've come a long way. It was like 40 at some point. Now it is 93. That is uh that is something you you like to see. So next episode, if Celta Vigo, they're in fourth, probably play that, play Porto, and then uh um maybe Sociedad as we head into November. And uh, we can start thinking about a center back signing because Araujo is gonna be back near February. So I'm not sure if we should sign a center back in January. We do have that money from the Dembele deal. He was sold for 120, 130 million actually. So like that would be 
close to the price of delict could also sell someone to make up the make up the extra difference too that is something we can definitely think about also koulibaly he is only worth 46.5 million i gotta say that is that is an absolute steal for koulibaly 46.5 million like that is a steal that is also a pretty pretty good option so like it's either delict or koulibaly we signed laporte in a previous series so i'd rather uh i'd rather sign delict or Koulibaly. Very likely a signing in January we we will make, but we'll see. Also, Ansu, one behind Iago Aspas for the top score. We want to get him that golden boot this year. And then a Depay is leading in assists, so that partnership is working. I mean, Ansu, eight goals in nine games. Just, just what a start. What a start. I am still mad about that Real Madrid draw, but I mean, it does not. And I'm still mad about the draws in Sim games, but we've still had a very good start to the season very very positive start much better than last season and now we look like we're taking that next step forward so we'll see if that continues in the next episode if you enjoyed this one i'd appreciate you dropping a like on the video of course always subscribe to the channel if you have not there's a reason youtubers ask for likes in the video it helps out so much helps the video get recommended to people just the likes help out so much and uh, you guys have been killing it so i appreciate all all the love and support and of course we're close to 20k so if you're not subscribed i'd appreciate you hitting that sub button but that is it i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day